a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Alpha. My name is Ashamet Cunningham, and today we'll be talking about the biblical view. I'm going to start off with the quote of the day. Remember, it's going to be very important. Now it says, only the Godhead has immortality and is the true source of life. Once more, only the Godhead has immortality and is the true source of life. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for waking us up this morning. As we go through this day, continue to bless us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now sin entered the world through the fall of Adam and Eve. As a result, mankind fell under the curse of physical death and we lost the gift to eternal life. That's very sad, not sure. But guess what? Because of God's unconditional love for us, he implemented the plan of salvation so that all of his children, including you and now, could regain eternal life. That was inherently worse to begin with. The Apostle Paul explains that just through one man, sin entered the world and death through sin. So through one man, Jesus Christ, the gracious gift of eternal life became available to all. Romans 5, 12 to 21. And the Apostle John adds, God gave us eternal life and this life is in his son. Whoever has the son has life. Whoever does not have the Son does not have life. 1 John 5 verses 11 and 12. Did you know that there are many out there who believe that humans are naturally immortal? That everlasting life is granted to all, whether in hell or in heaven, and whether or not they believe in Christ? Absurd, am I right? It is clear that this is definitely not so. Jesus himself stated, Everyone who looks to the Son and believes in Him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. John 6 verse 40. Remember the quote that I shared in the beginning? Let me read it for you. Only the Godhead has immortality and is the true source of life. You see where it comes back in the lesson? You see, it now, no face in it. The conclusion is simple. If everlasting life is granted only to those who are in Christ, then those who are not in Him do not have everlasting life. This is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. This is free. Dear God, we thank you for bringing this message to us and to your people. Thank you for using me as a mouthpiece. Forgive us of our sins, these, and other mercies we ask of you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you guys for tuning in today. We hope that you keep these words in your heart as you go through your day. Please tune in tomorrow for another engaging message. Ciao! A lesson for all daily at 6 a.m.